Okay, this demo is going to be on how to do the conveyor link, which is uh, C35, I believe. Um, the part should look something like this right here. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do this kind of fast. So um, I'm going to go into AutoCAD. We're going to go File, New. I'm going to go ahead and get our title block uh, here and here. And there we go. So just like normal, we'll go File, New. All right. Okay, and here we go. Uh, model tab. We're going to start by doing the object layer. And this one does have a natural center point like some of the other ones we have, so we're going to do this a little differently. We're going to start by drawing the line on the bottom, the one that's, you know, the six inches is going to. We're going to go straight down here. Oh, I don't know, 15 or so inches. That's good. And then we're going to draw a line like that. Um, now, what I want to get here is I want to get this, this is the line I'm drawing right here, so I want to offset six inches to uh, get the location for these arcs and circles. So, that said, I'm going to offset six inches from here to here, good, and that's going to, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the line weights now, um, that gives me a location for the holes. Um, the first, the smaller hole is a uh, diameter of 0.56. So 0.56, and then the larger arc is a radius of 0.81. So circle center radius, 0.81, and then I, that doesn't look right. Uh, let me check that size again. I'm going to delete that and make it again. Circle center diameter, and I did 0 0.56. That's better. Okay, that's a 0.56 circle. All right, now let's go ahead and take that and copy it from here to here. And let's go ahead and join that and that, enter, enter, and join that and that. Okay, so we're off and looking pretty good. That, that part's really easy. Okay, now the kind of the hard part, this kind of big part here. Um, we're going to do first is we're going to set up this 3.88 um, arc right here. Um, and so it's going to be um, a big circle, basically. So we're going to go to uh, Circle, Center Radius. Uh, the center point is there, and the radius is 3.88. Big circle. Okay. Uh, now we have to get the intersections of that circle, and you'll notice that we have some angles that are... Yeah, you know, divisible by 15. So we have this uh, 15, we have this 30, and we need those to kind of intersect that big arc we just made. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our polar tracking. We did this at 45 last time, and that's what it's left at. So we're going to do this at a 15 degree angle. And we're going to make sure polar tracking is on. So the way this is going to work is we're going to go here, we're going to make a line, but we're going to track it at 15 degrees. And you'll notice every 15 degrees, this thing tracks. So, sorry, let's go here. So it's 15, and that's 30, starts hitting the end point over there, and 45, and 60, and so on. So we want to go like that. I'm going to go longer than I need because we're going to trimmed out. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go from here and we're going to go 30. Now be careful on this one. The common mistake is people just do it once like that. That's a 15 degree. So we need to go one more. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and do that at 30 degrees. See the 120? Okay, perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the arc there. So we're going to look for um, this radius 0.75 right here and um, put that in. So we're going to go to circle center radius, center point is there, 0.75. Now, here comes the how do I get that arc that's coming off of that? Well, the distance from here to here is 0.75. The radius is 0.75. So watch this. We're going to offset 0.75. I'm going to offset this line 0.75. See what's going on? And up there, 0.75. So now we have that uh, that big arc kind of happen in there. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and trim some of this out, or let's get a little fillet in there. So we have this kind of round in here and a round in over here. Um, you can see that they are a radius of 0.75 on one and 125 on the other one. So let's do that as a tangent tangent radius. So circle, tangent tangent radius. We'll go tangent 
tangent, and the radius is uh, 0.75. And then we'll do another one, circle, tangent, tangent, radius, tangent, tangent, and the radius is uh, 1.25. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of stuff happening here. It's probably be time to trim before we get the rest of it going. So I'm going to do a big trim here. Okay, let's see that. Probably shouldn't have picked so many things, but. Okay, uh, let's see. It's going uh, up here. So that's gone and gone and gone and gone and then that's gone so you can see how it's kind of just going into the curl right there and then that's gone and gone and gone and gone and gone and then that's going to go into the arc there so that's gone there and then gone there and there and there and you can see the thing kind of coming around here now get rid of that some of this stuff you can erase i'm going to leave this big circle in um we're going to do something else with that but you can get rid of this extra circle here get rid of that that's actually looking pretty good there um again i'm going to leave the big circle in and escape i can delete this part right here i don't really need any of this part right now it's i can just delete that so that's looking actually pretty good. Okay, now the uh, there's a slot in here before we start uh, getting the center line going. We also can get rid of that right there. Um, so the, what's happening with the slot is, it's see the 50 right there? Um, so that's how big the diameter of the circle is going to be. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go uh, circle center diameter from here. And that's a 0.5. And then we'll take that and copy it from here to here. Now, if it's 0.5 all the way across, how far is it from the middle out? 0.25. So we're going to offset that uh, 0.25. Like that and like that. Sort of the same strategy we use for that bigger arc. And you can see where the trimming is going to be. So let's do that. We're not going to pick the whole thing this time. We're just going to pick the stuff that's involved in the trim. Like, like that. Hit enter, pick that, and that, and that, oops, and that. Okay, now we have this big old arc right here, and we want the center line to stop about 0.25 past. So we're going to go into the break command. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of split this a little bit. So um, let's go ahead and um, kind of split this up just a little bit. Um, let's see. Um, Let's see how I want to do this. I want to go um, modify and use the break command. Now this goes counterclockwise. So I'm going to select right about there and just kind of bring it around like about there. Okay, almost done. So now we just have to go in there and um, change that to a center line and just do that. You don't have to worry about where exactly where they're, they're intersecting. There's not going to be a perfect uh, mark on here anyway. We're going to take those two and change them to center lines. Now what I want you to do with these is I want you like you to bring them back, keep the tracking on, and just bring it back to right about there. And on this one, bring it back, just keep it tracking to right about there. Okay, the last play is to uh, just set up the center marks. So you guys know how to do that by now. We're going to go annotate and center mark. And we're going to pick that and that. And we're just going to connect those two up like that. And that is the part. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if the, if the thing fits on the sheet. I think it does. Um, let's put this on the viewport layer. And let's make a viewport. Set the scale, right click properties to one to one. And it looks like it fits no problem. We're going to go ahead and plop that down about like that. So you'll notice that the center marks are not um, like the pretty plus signs. I want them to be like that on the sketch, but not on the drawing. Uh, the name of the part is the conveyor link, and uh, it's C35.